हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर न्यू वीडियो ऑन इंफोसेल्स रीजनिंग एबिलिटी क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स सो इन दिस सेशन टोटली वी विल फोकस ऑन क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑफ रीजनिंग एबिलिटी फॉर द इंफोसेल्स टेस्ट सो इफ यू डोंट नो और इफ यू नॉट एट अवेयर ऑफ व्हाट आर द टेस्ट पैटर्न और व्हाट इज द वेटेज ऑफ द टॉपिक्स सो आई विल ऑलवेज सजेस्ट स्टूडेंट्स टू गो थ्रू आवर YouTube चैनल वी ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड इंफोसेल्स टेस्ट पैटर्न एंड वेटेज ऑफ द रीजनिंग एबिलिटी न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी एंड वर्बल ऑल दोस थिंग्स so i am not mentioning all of those here so just we are discussing about the question and answers for this so if you don't aware of the structure and the pattern of the infosys examination i'll suggest please go through the, our youtube channel and you can find it easily so just let's get started yes before going to start the question and answers i would like to say you something that best three commenters on this video to get the free access to newly launched prepinsta prime so you already know guys what is prepinsta prime uh, is our team already played the trailer so around 100 plus courses is embedded in a single platform that is our prepinsta prime so you don't have to run for uh, any course in any different different websites you can just stick in a single website that is prepinsta prime.com and you can learn multiple courses we are offering and you know what are the all those things as already mentioned in the trailer so it is a best platform for you guys if you want to prepare for multiple companies or if you want to prepare for multiple concepts or courses so try to comment on this video and we will pick best three commenters and we will provide free access for them and along with that i would like to tell you guys this is a placement season or the placement time for a lot of companies so they will uh, conduct their hiring process right so around 30 plus companies would hiring soon so we'll post all the updates related to the company hiring process and registration dates and the test pattern and everything in our social media handles so i'll always suggest the students to follow us on our social media handles why because you will never miss any type of notifications or if you will not uh, miss any type of uh, chances for the job recruitment right so if you may not open youtube every time right so obviously we'll will be in the any one of the social media handles so it will be more easier one for you guys so i always suggest students to the mandatory social media platform is instagram you have to follow this and if you want to reach us and if you want to interact with us just please join prepinster.com discord channel so that we can easily interact and we will clear your doubts and along with this i'll also suggest whatsapp and telegram for your uh, doubt clarifications and everything so try to follow us on all our social media handles and don't miss any type of job opportunities okay so without any further delay let's get started with our very first question so before going to start the question and answers i will always suggest students to pause the video first and try to solve it on your own first and then we will parallelly do the explanation so that you can improve yourself if you are doing in a different manner and i am doing in a different manner so that you can compare and you can improve yourself which one you have to choose so try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation so i hope everyone done well so just look into the explanation now how to do this the prakash walked 40 meters facing towards north so whenever you are seeing this type of direction related problems you have to imagine a directions we are always facing towards the north our right hand is east and our left hand is is west and our opposite direction will be south so start doing this problem parallelly when you are reading this type of data don't waste your time by reading the data once and doing the problem after reading once so don't waste your time whenever you are feel like it is a direction based immediately start doing this so sri prakash who or it may be so walk 40 meters facing towards the north so he is traveling towards the north sorry uh, he is traveling towards the north so this is the north so i am just clearing the screen for you guys so this is the north so he traveled for 40 meters and just look at the next one from there he walked 50 meters after turn to his left so remember guys whenever in the directions are given left is nothing but anti clockwise direction and right is nothing but clockwise direction and they need to turn around 90 degrees exactly 
so this is the basic elementary theory you don't you have to know so left hand side turn which is nothing but anti clockwise this is the anti clockwise direction and walk out for 50 meters so this is 50 meters is the displacement so i partially drawn the length of this line more than this 40 meters in order to uh, differentiate the length on everything okay so just look into the next one after this he walked 40 meters after turning to his left so again he turned left again left means again anti-clockwise direction so he traveled in this direction now and walked for 40 meters so the vertical displacement also 40 meters here so 40 meters means these two vertical lines having same height or length so that the starting point and this point will be a straight line this is what you have to know always okay so yes data was completed uh, let's go to the question now how far and in which direction is now from his starting point so remember guys the problem is depends on with respect to starting point so you need to solve this problem in the perspective of the starting point so th this is the starting point and this is the ending point right so in order to do this type of problems i will suggest students to simple technique that draw a arrow from starting point to ending point that's it very simple why because you are started from starting point so with respect to starting point so tell me this arrow represents which direction it's going on left hand side so left is nothing but west so west is we have a two options so a and c got cancelled and what is the distance between these two points there is no vertical displacement why because the two vertical lines are same so the horizontal displacement is 50 meters so your answer is option b 50 meters is correct so even it may be the simple problem but i am trying to give you all the ideologies how to think related to these type of problems so that you can quickly get the answer in your examination yes i hope you understand if you have still any doubts please comment in the comment section and we will discuss and yes look at the next question try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation so yes guys i hope everyone done well so just look into the explanation how to do this so look at the direction they have provided some directions that in each question below is given three statements followed by three conclusions number one two three you have to take the given statement to be true even if they seems to be an variance from the commonly known facts so don't compare these type of statements with your real-time examples this is what he would like to say and read all the conclusions and that decide which given conclusions are logically follows from the given statement disregarding the common known facts so for this problem you have to treat these statements are 100 percent true you don't have to compare with the real time so remember this is a concept of statement conclusions and syllogism topic so you don't have to compare these statements with the real time this is a very important point if you think about the real time facts you will never get the correct answer so this is the instruction they are given so i will do this syllogism topic through logical venn diagram so if you are good at tick and cross method i will always suggest students to go through your method which you are feeling very comfortable so i am little familiar with the logical venn diagram so that i will go with the venn diagram if you are good at tick and cross please go with the tick and cross and if you have any doubts please let us know in the comment section so just look at the solution now some cycles are buses so some cycles are buses all cars are buses so cycle i have represented with ca y and cars i will represent with ca so all cars are buses which is nothing but i have written in this like that right this is a logical diagram if you know the theory it will be more easier and some buses are trains so some buses are trains so whenever i draw the picture i will maintain individuality of the statements so that i can perfectly get the output so so many people will do a mistake that they will interact with the remaining sets so don't do that make individuality so you can easily get the answer so just look into the conclusions now how to do this all cars are cycles 
So all cars are cycles. Is it true or not? Just look at the picture. Cycle set is here. So for your clarification, I am taking another uh, in color. So just look at here. I can say this is a cycle yellow color. And cars. This is the car. So this is yellow color. So just look at the those two highlighted colors of the sets, cycle and car. So we don't have any intersection area and we don't have any into mark in between that. For example, if no relation is there, I will treat it as into mark. But the space is between them. There is no interaction. There is no cross symbol between them. So the answer is don't know case. It's very important and the heart of the syllogism topic when you are learn through logical Venn diagram. So if you don't know, any conclusion is wrong. Remember this. If you don't know, any conclusion is wrong. Why? Because conclusion need to be 100% sure. But here the condition is I don't know. If I don't know, I can't confirm any conclusion. So simply conclusion one is false. So just look at the next one. Some trains are buses. So just look at here guys. Look at the second statement. All sorry. Look at the third statement. Some buses are trains. Means some trains are buses. So when you look at the logical Venn diagram, so, so it is correct. Some trains are buses. Some buses are trains. Yes. So conclusion two is correct. Just look at the third one. That is some trains are cars. So just look at the car set and train set. So car set is here and train set is here. They are common with buses. But when you look at only these two individual sets, there is nothing relation between them. There is no into mark. There is no intersection area. They are not interacting with each other. So the condition again, it is don't know condition. If you don't know the relation between two sets, immediately your answer will be not false. So conclusion will never follow in the don't know case. So simply we got conclusion 2 is correct. So only conclusion 2 follows. So option D, none of these is the correct answer for this type of problems. So remember guys, if you want to learn all this stuff, you have to reach to our Prepinsta Prime website and there in the aptitude or the reasoning area, you will find this uh, solution topic through logical Venn diagram as well as tick and cross method. So choose your best practicable method and follow that. And this is the one of the most important for the Infosys as well. Okay. So just look into the next, next problem. Try to pause the video first and try to solve it on your own first. And then we will look into the explanation part. So I hope everyone done well. So in order to save some space, I have removed all the directions. So as you can see, these are the, all the directions. So I have skipped that section in order to save some space. So again, the as usual problem. So they have given some statements and you have to take care of these conclusions, whether they are correct or not. So let's start doing this through logical Venn diagram again. So I'm drawing the picture, just carefully look at my uh, diagram designing here all boxes are pans so all boxes are pans is nothing but all boxes need to be under pan set so this is how we will draw all arb related problem just look at the next one some boxes are juice so some boxes which is nothing but b so some boxes are juice so in order to intersect B set and J set by default P set got interacted but it is not intentionally designed. This is what we have to understand while I am going for individual statements sometimes by default some sets get be interacted but it is not intentionally drawn picture. This is what you have to take care of while you are drawing the logical Venn diagram. Next some juice are glasses so some GR Sorry, some um, JRG, which is not even juicer glasses. So I have not interacted with P, B, with G. Why? Because they have not given. Why I have to interrupt others without having any information, right? So this is the diagram you have to take care of. So just look at the conclusions how to do. So the key point for this Venn diagrams is always don't know condition. So if you don't know any conclusion is wrong right so start doing this some glasses are boxes so just look at here 
boxes is here and glasses is here so please just look into those two highlighted circles only b and g there is no intersection there is no into mark between them if into mark is there i will treat it as no but for example uh, no a is b how i will draw the picture is nothing but a some into mark then b so if the representation of into mark is there then only i will treat it as no relationship so this is what we have to take care of so just look at here some glass are boxes so b is here g is here we don't know the relation between them if you don't know the relation any conclusion is wrong don't confuse yourself make it like this okay next glass and box box is there glass is there so we don't know the relationship so answer is wrong next some juice are pans so just look at here guys some boxes are juice is the intersection area we have created from the second statement so all these box elements are also presented in p set right according to the first statement so just look at here this is the interaction part of p and j so due to make second condition second statement possible when i draw the picture by default the p set and j set got interacted so some p r g or some j r p is a possibility yes it is 100% true it's not a possibility it is 100% true they are interacting with each other just look at the next one no jug is pan so what is the relation between jug and pan so just look at here j set here and g set here there is no into mark between them there is no intersection area between them so those two are individual sets we don't know if you don't know fourth conclusion is wrong see how simply we are doing but after completion of this type of problems i'll always suggest to students that just look for opposite statements just look at the first statement and second statement some glass are boxes so statement one is saying there is some relationship between those two set and second statement is saying that no glass is box so there is no relation between them so can i say these two statements are opposite statements if the relation is there some will be there if relation is not there no will be there so this is called as opposite statements whenever you got the opposite statement in the don't know case you have to choose either or option this is the all the conditions you have to take care of so you need to know a lot of things actually we are having a less span so that it's possible to me i am treating all the conditions but if you really want to learn all the things we have already included this all the concepts in our prime so just watch over there around one and a half hour session so you can able to make this very easily right so your answer will be three follows along with that one to our opposite statements so we have to use either or so all the remaining conclusions are wrong so this is how you have to choose the options so option c is not your answer why because these two are opposite you have to choose either or so this is how you have to do i hope everyone understand if you have still any doubts please reach me in the comment section i will definitely give you the replies for your doubts yes try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part guys yes i hope everyone done well so just look into the explanation now so the directions is given as use the following answers choose the for the questions below so options are given as a statement one alone is sufficient but statement two alone is not sufficient so the problem is related to data sufficiency and uh, insufficiency right so just look at here statement one alone is sufficient then you have to choose option a statement two alone is sufficient you have to choose option b and both one and two together are sufficient to answer the question so you have to choose option c each statement alone is sufficient so if statement one alone is sufficient statement two alone is sufficient you have to use either or which is option d and if both together is not sufficient to answer your question you have to choose option e so this is the summary of the options so just look at here how to do this problem so in order to do data sufficiency or data insufficiency related problem i'll always suggest students to follow some particular flow diagram based 
DS data sufficiency. So just look at here how to do this. So the first thing you have to trade one alone case and then two alone case. So first individual alone cases. So statement alone is giving you the answer or not. So just look at here. Is the product of x and y is greater than 60. So x into y you need to get more than 60. Right. So just look into the first statement alone. I am trading alone. The sum of x and y is greater than 60. So x plus y is equal to 60. Can I say x value 0 and y value 60. So x plus y is 60. So x into y will become 0. So it's not greater than 60. I can say x value 20 and y value 40 and 24 is a, sorry 20 40 is a 800 so here we are getting more than 60 and if i treat x value minus 10 and y value plus 70 multiplication is minus 70 which is less than 60 so sometimes i am getting positive value sometimes i am getting negative value sometimes i am getting less than 60 sometimes i am getting more than 60 so statement one alone is not sufficient to answer my question alone is not sufficient so whenever alone is not sufficient guys immediately we can eliminate two options according to our flow diagram that is option a got eliminated why because statement one alone is not sufficient whenever the statement one is not alone sufficient we can't go for either or case so two options got eliminated next check for two statement alone second statement alone based on that we will come to the answer alone each variable is greater than 2. Don't compare statement 2 immediately with the statement 1. This is a mistake around 80% people will do in the examination. So don't compare immediately with the statement 1. Try to analyze this statement alone first. So each variable is greater than 2. So can I say 3 comma 3 or 3 comma 5? 3 5 are how much? 3 5 are not more than 60. Or I can say 4 into 180. Sorry, 4 comma 180. So both are greater than 2, right? So 480 is there more than 60. I don't know what is the answer, but it is more than 60. So sometimes I am getting less than 60, sometimes I am getting more than 60. So statement 2 alone also not sufficient. So if the statement 2 also not sufficient, option B got eliminated. So according to the flow diagram of the D data interpretation or DS, sorry, data sufficiency or DS we can choose either c or d join these two so i know x plus y is equal to 60 from the first statement and the second statement x and y must be greater than 2 so greater than 2 means you need to choose every time a positive number and you can't choose 0 or 1 also so you have to start with at least 3 you don't have to choose 3 2 also right at least 3 I am taking x value 3 and y value I am taking for example uh, it will be remaining 57 right so 357 are obviously more than 60 so I am getting the answer it may be more than 60 or less than 60 we don't have to bother about is the product is more than 60 or not you have to choose right so I don't bother about the values I just bother about greater than 60 or not that's it so just look into this I will taking both are equal so 30 comma 30 30 that is a 900 so again you are getting more than 60 so whenever you join statement 1 alone and 2 alone, sorry statement 1 and statement 2 together your conditions got eliminated like you can eliminate negative values you can eliminate zero values so that you have to choose at least the positive values from 3 so whenever I choose from 3 the other number will be definitely huge also why because if I need to be 60 so yes, if you join the both together, then only you can conclude the answer. So option C is correct and option E is also got eliminated. Statement 1 and statement 2, if you combine them, you can conclude the answer which is more, more than 60. Right. So this is the easy concept, but all you need to get the ideology, how to do in a step-by-step -step process. For the first verification, you will take around 15 seconds. For the second one, 15 to 20 seconds, if you already practice well. So joining of them, it will take around 30 seconds to think. So within one minute, you can complete data sufficiency or data insufficiency related problem. 
but all you need practice so just look into the next problem based on the again data sufficiency so i would like to revise this concept for your clarification so try to pause the video first and try to solve it on your own first then we will look into the explanation part okay i hope everyone done well so just look into the explanation now so all the options are given same as a previous problem so i am not discussing about the options you have to choose so i am directly jumping towards the problem so what is the question they are asking for and what is the data is sufficient or not sufficient so i already told you the way of checking is one alone and two alone based on the flow diagram of the ds so we will eliminate the options so just look at here what is the simple rate of interest so the data sufficient sometimes they will ask you through logical reasoning sometimes they will ask you through quantity attitude as well so you have to take care of this here the knowledge is needed not the calculation part remember if you start doing the calculation you are in a wrong direction so don't do the calculation try to analyze the problem and just do whatever required so just look at here what is the simple rate of interest what is the simple rate of interest problem or formula rate of interest is nothing but r right you have to find rate of interest so we have a formula for the simple interest which is nothing but ptr by 100 is equal to simple interest so this is the basic formula you we all know right so how many variables are there guys tell me in the chat sorry uh, you can know right so simply p t r so there are three variables on the left hand side and simple interest is the one variable on the right hand side so we have a total four variables so out of four variables if you know three variables then only you can find another fourth variable am i right or not yes so just look at here what is the information they are providing can i fill these any three variables by using this data or not just look at here the total interest earned was 4000 so the interest is given which is nothing but 4000 rupees so statement one alone i am checking now so yes this is 4000 rupees then what is the r value we don't know why because we don't know the principal amount we don't know the time period so statement one alone is not sufficient to answer this question so whenever statement one alone is not sufficient option a and option b got eliminated so just look into the next one statement two alone so look at the statement two alone the sum was invested for four years so the amount is invested for 4 years means the T value is given as 4 years. Don't compare with the previous statement. It's only T value is given and we don't know remaining 3 variables. So according to the statement 2 alone, we have only T value but we don't know P value, R value and SA value. So statement 2 alone also not sufficient. So option B also got eliminated. So join them together now. So we know SI and we know time period. Then what is the P value and what is the R value? We don't know. Why? Because the amount invested, if you don't know, you can't get anything. So for example, for four years, you are getting 4,000 rupees. So for one year, you will get 1,000 rupees. So I will invest 10,000. For 10%, 10 I will get 1,000 rupees. I will invest 5,000 rupees only at 20 percent i will get thousand rupees again so if you don't know the amount invested and if you don't know the rate of interest you can't conclude anything right so simply i can say like this also out of four variables through these two statements together also you have only two variables with the two variables with the one equation you can't find remaining two variables so i can't get the answer from this information so joining of them also not getting the answer means both the statements together also not sufficient to answer the question so additional information is required either it depends on p or depends on r then only i can conclude the answer so option e is correct for this particular type of questions so i hope everyone understand this just look into the next problem so try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first and then we will look into the explanation part
So I hope everyone done well. So just look into the explanation now. In certain code language, Sikkim is written as T H L J J L. How training written in that code? So whenever we have this type of coding decoding problems or coding detective logic based on the alphabets, I'll always suggest students that please convert the alphabets to the corresponding numerical values immediately. So don't try to waste your time by reading A to Z and 1 to 26. Don't waste your time. You have to practice before the examination how to remember them. And if you want to learn those type of techniques, we are already embedded in the prime. So please watch that. So for just for this explanation, I am taking the alpha numerical values immediately. So S is nothing but 19 and I is nothing but 9. K is nothing but Kings 11 Punjab. So 11. So K is 11, I is 9 and M is 13. So this is how we will remember this alphabets simply. And T, H, L, J, J, L, right? So T is nothing but T20s. So 20, H is nothing but 8 and L is nothing but 12. J is nothing but 10 and J is nothing but 10. L is nothing but 12. So just look at here guys. When you see the numbers, you can easily get the values or the logic, right? So just look at the logic here. So 19 become 20 plus 1 and 9 become uh, 8 which is minus 1, 11 become 12 plus 1, 11 become 10 which is minus 1. So here plus 1, here minus 1. So each alternate numbers are adding with plus 1 or minus 1, right? So it's very simple. The first element is added by 1, the corresponding elements minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 is the pattern. So immediately start doing this. So I will never write these numbers in my examinations. Why? Because if I am a little practice to candidate more than you, for example, I will practice more than you by one year, right? For example. So when you have a practice before the examination, you can save a lot of time. So just look at here how I will do. So immediately I will do T is nothing but 20, 20 plus 1, 21, 21 is nothing but U. So this is how I will do, I will perform all the required uh, manipulations or logics in my brain only. I will never write down much in the examination. So that's why you can save the time. So just look at here, option A got eliminated. So when I look at the remaining options, UQBH, UQBH and UQBH, all are same. Then why I have to waste my time for the remaining four Alphabets. All are same means I can't eliminate the options, right? So if you need to reduce your time. So in order to reduce your time, you have to handle the options very carefully. So just look at here. What is the difference between them? O I O F, O H I O, O H O F. So I found the differences at these places, and I found the differences at last position, right? So I will go with the last position first. So just look at here how I am doing for your clarification. I am writing here training. So this is plus one. This is minus one. 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 So last alphabet G need to be subtracted by one. So G minus one. G is nothing but seven. Seven minus one is nothing but six. Six is nothing but F. So our answer need to be end with F. So last alphabet is F, so C got eliminated. See how simply we are doing. And then look into the next one, which is here I is the difference, here H is the difference. So which alphabet it is? From the last, it is third alphabet, right? So G and so I. I need to be subtracted. So I is nothing but 9, 9 minus 1 is nothing but 8, 8 is nothing but H. So this also got eliminated. So option D is your answer. And you can see the last uh, from the last the third alphabet is I in the option B it remains same. So without doing the qualification also you can directly eliminate the option B. So option D is your obvious answer. So if you want to do it in a regular manner also you can do that. So obviously you will end up with the same answer that is option D. Please verify that and confirm in the comment section. Are you getting the same answer or not? So these type of Thinking and this type of approach is very important to reduce your time and you can improve your speed so that you can attempt more number of problems. So in order to tell you these things, I would like to show you something what we are providing in our website is analytics. So in order to improve your speed guys, 
you have to compare yourself with the others also is you are performing equally to the others more than others or less than others so that based on that you can improve yourself towards the towards attempting a more number of problems so for that what we have done is we have embedded analytics in our quizzes so just look at here for example i have taken a random question i have attempted it wrongly so you can see how many people are attempted correctly or not so for example out of 100 people 71 people attempted correctly and when i look at the show graph or when i look at the explanation also we can see uh, when you look at the analytics that is show graph button if you press on that you can able to get this graph also so how many people attempted after you before you so as i have attempted wrongly so there is no analytics for this problem why because you got the wrong answer so for example if i attempted it correctly see 75 percent people are approximately attempted correctly along with me so in order to make myself comfortable i will go with the analytics of show graph so just look at here 75 percent people attempted correctly but who attempted in less time so that they will have more time for the remaining bits so this is the analytics you have to improve so just look at here i have attempted this problem just 30 sorry 10 seconds and around 3 percent people have solved this problem before me and 97 percent people are attempted this problem after me so i will be in the top 3 percent so that my selection chances will be more for example i am just thinking about this problem if you do for all the problems also you will be on the top three percent and I always suggest the students to be in the top 15 percent and you will get placed in any company so in any written test if you are the top 15 percent any round you will be selected for that company I, for sure i will assure that so remember top 10 percent is your goal for any question so this is how we have to we have um, we have designed the analytics and everything in our quizzes so if you want to learn them in detail our team will play you a beautiful video on analytics how to use them from the entry level to exit level so please watch that video and we will get back to the question answers again Yes, I hope everyone's seen that video. So please try to use up those analytics and improve yourself and attempt more number of problems in less time when compared with others. Yes. So just look into the next question. Try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first, and then we will look into the explanation part. So I hope everyone done well. So just look into the explanation how to do this easily. Six. Friends, A, B, C, D, F are sitting in two rows facing opposite to each other, three in each. So, the arrangement, arrangement will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and they are facing opposite to each other means one will face the north and another will face the south. So, this is the basic ar arrangement when we have a two row arrangement, right? So, just look into the information now, how to insert those people into these two rows and what are the questions they are asking for, we will see. E is not at any end of the row so e will be never on the any end of the row okay 
is not end and d is second to the left of f so we don't know either d or f are sitting in the north directed people or no south directed people right so for this type of process or this type of problems i'll always go for uh, dual solution or parallel solution so this will always give you the better output you will not get the requirement of reading the data again and again so i'll always go for solutions so just look at here for example 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 so these are people facing towards the north and these are the people facing towards the south so whoever facing towards the north this is the right hand direction this is the left hand direction why because our right hand will become right hand and left hand will become left hand for the south directed people it will be reverse so this is what we have to take care of so just look at here d is second to the left of f so d and f are in the same row and the second left means definitely d and f will be on the end points also so i am assuming that d and f are in the north direction people so if north direction means left is nothing but our left hand direction so f is here f second left this is the first left second left so d will be here so this is the arrangement of df if d and f are on the south directed people or south direction row f will be here and the left hand direction is this now so d will be here so this is how you have to do the problem while you are doing the data you need to get this awareness immediately and we can do the problems very easily but in order to explain you guys i am taking this much time but in the examination when i see the statement immediately i will draw these six lines and immediately i will place fd and df simple and c is neighbor of e so c is neighbor of e means ef sorry ec or c is the answer right and we don't know but i can know c is on the south for the first figure and in the north for the second figure anything will be possible is sitting diagonally opposite to D. So just look at here, guys. Kama is sitting diagonally opposite to D is nothing but immediately he is saying C is diagonally opposite to D. The information related to first person again, right? So diagonally opposite means D diagonally opposite position is this. So C is here. For here, D diagonally opposite position is here. So C is here. And I know C is neighbor of E. So immediately E need to be here and immediately e need to be here and just look at here b is neighbor of f so b is neighbor of f means here here and who are the, who are the person who left with us is a so a is here a is here so for our clarification i'm just erasing all the things i have just for your clarification i have written everything so now i'm just leaving only our output answer so that you can easily get this arrangement so just look at here this is the two arrangements we got from the data and still we don't know which one i have to choose so directly look for the question if you don't get the same answer in the two possible cases the answer will be cannot be determined always so just look at here we will do how we will do this which of the following are sitting diagonally opposite to each other diagonally opposite to each other who are the diagonally opposite to each other diagonally opposite means opposite corners so dcr diagonally opposite and here afr diagonally opposite in the second case also dcr diagonally opposite and afr diagonally opposite so diagonally opposite persons will never change for the two answers also so your answer will be unique only so dc already given in the data so they will never give you the options so directly our answer is af option d is correct so this is how we can do this so based on the same data i have also taken one more example so just look at here so same data if you want to try it once on your end please try it once and try to answer this question but i already solved this so i am directly going towards the question which of the following are one of the two rows so you have to choose the three people who are in the same row so just look at here yeah b is the so f b c is second row f b and c is another row so 
FBC never come in the same row. Yes, one option got eliminated. DBF. DBF. Yes, DBF is here. And DBF is here. So, DBF is your answer. Next, look at the CEB. Uh, if you want to know the answer exactly, you can verify the remaining options. But whenever I got the answer, I will never go for the remaining options. So, just for your clarification, I am going with this. C, E, B. So, C is here, E is here, B in the another row. C is here, E is here, B is in the other row. So, these are not in a single row. A, E, F. So, A is here, E is here, F is here. A is here, E is here, F is here. Again, those three people are now not the same row. So, option D also got eliminated. So, this is some easy problem, but all you need to do is take care of the, all the conditions. Sometimes they may ask based on the cannot be determined cases also. You have to take care of that. Okay. So just look into the next question. Try to pause the video and try to solve it on your own first. And then we will look into the explanation part. Yes, I hope everyone done well. So just look into the explanation. Complete the analogy. So some two words is given and you have to find third one to the fourth one relation so just look at here guys analogy is nothing but the first group having a same logic as well as the second group will also have the same logic so first you need to find the first logic for the first two groups so again i'll always suggest convert the alphabets to the numbers and then you can immediately do the problem so don't count alphabets like d e f how can we get the h like that you will waste a lot of time so just start doing with alpha numerical values. D is nothing but 4, E is nothing but 5, C is nothing but 3, K is nothing but 11, Kings 11, Punjab. So 11. So H is nothing but 8, and J is nothing but 10, and F is nothing but 6, V is nothing but 22. So this is how we can easily do this. So 4 become 8 into 2, 5 become 10 into 2. 3 become 6 into 2, 11 become 22 into 2. So, all the alphabets are multiplying with 2 and the corresponding numerical value is replaced with the alphabets. So, just look at here how to do this. So, F is nothing but 6, 6 double 12, 12 is nothing but L. So, I can eliminate option A, option C. So, I have left with L. So, L R M and L R N is the answer. So, when I look at these two options, option D, I can directly choose the answer. Why? Because M is nothing but 13. 13 is an odd number. But if you are doubling any number, you will obviously will get an even number. Am I right or not? Right? So, N is nothing but 14. So, my answer is L, R, N. So, see guys, with a different, different logics, you can predict the answer within the very less time but it depends on how you are practicing. So just look at if you want to do it, you can also do it. G is nothing but seven, seven double is 14, even number, so N is 14. M is odd number, so I can eliminate it. So this is how we will do the problems while in the examination so that we can score more number of problems. So you will be in the selection zone. Yes. So just look into the next problem, try to pause the video and try to read all the data and try to do it on your own and then we will look into the explanation part. So I hope everyone done well. So just look into the explanation now. Yes, before going to start this explanation, I would like to show you something guys. That is, what is our Prebinista Prime is and what are the courses we are embedded here. So in order to improve your speed in your examination, you require practice and proper logics behind every concept right so this is why we have created this website around 100 plus courses you can access in a single platform for example just look at here the popular skills like artificial intelligence cyber security and ethical hacking and big data were included here along with the most popular languages i can say mandatory languages for any sort of company's requirement rise there is C programming language and C++, Java and Python. So these are the one of the most important languages along with that basic coding, intermediate coding and competitive coding also. These courses are included. 
And along with that, we have specially designed the aptitude courses like quantity aptitude, logical reasoning, verbal ability, and data and visual reasoning, which are very important for various companies. And we have designed these courses. You can prepare for any company, right? And if you want to prepare for platform specific, like CoCube, SamCard, HackerRank, or Metal, anything, you can prepare from here. Or if you want to prepare for company specific oriented, so then you can prepare from these courses like TCS and TCS Ninja and TCS Digital Cognizant, Microsoft, Goldman Sachs, Amazon, whatnot. A lot of companies are we are embedded these courses. So interview preparation, like resume building and everything, you can create from A to Z in a single platform. So you can also watch the interview experiences based on the production product based companies for the service based companies as well. So all you can learn in a single platform that is our Preminster Prime. So if you are our Prime subscriber, you will get Preminster Nano Degree Certification along with TCS Ion Remote Internship Certificate. So when coming to the prizes, we are simply offering is nothing but for the three months, it is two four double nine. For the six months, it is three four double nine. For the twelve months, it is double four double nine. If you want to go for uh, much longer, then we have a special offers like for the eighteen months, it is four triple nine. For twenty four months, it is five four double nine. And for thirty six months, it is five triple nine. And for the forty eight months, it is six four double nine. So if you are in the second year or third year, I will suggest students to go for at least twenty four months or thirty six months. And if you are in the final year, again I will suggest the students to at least go for twelve to eighteen months. Why? Because you need to prepare for at least six to seven months or for the upcoming drives. If you want to go for off campus drive, which are upcoming for the next year also, at least you need to be have the material for at least twelve to eighteen months, right? So I will suggest these type of packages for the students. So yes, this is it, and. Let's get back to the question and answers. So, yes, this is the question we are discussing already. So, I hope everyone done well. So, just look into the explanation how to do this. So, just look at the directions, guys. Each question consists of six statements followed by four set of combination of three. Choose the set in which statements are logically related. So, you have to choose the statements need to be logically related. So you need to know if the two statements are already. If you, I will follow like some people will go through sequence first method. Some people will go through logical Venn diagram method. Here I would like to go for logical Venn diagram oriented simply. So just look at here. Some locks are keys. All keys are hooks. Some locks are hooks. Some hooks are locks. No lock is hook. So try to find opposite statements first. Opposite statements will never be together for the logically relationship. Why? Because opposite statements will never together for any type of statements, right? Why? Because statements need to be hundred percent true. So if you are choosing two opposite statements, if one is hundred percent true, indirectly you are saying the other statement is hundred percent wrong, right? So you need to choose the proper relation-oriented statements, not opposite statement. Then what is the opposite statements? The opposite statements are simply look at here. No lock is hook, and some locks are hooks. So option C and option E are called as sorry. The statement E and statement C are called as opposite statements. So opposite statements will never come together. So option A and option B got eliminated. Very simple. Next I will go with option D. So what is A? Some locks are keys. Some locks are keys. Okay. Next B. All keys are hooks. All keys are hooks. What is C? C is nothing but some locks are hooks. Yes. If I draw A B indirectly, third statement, which is option C. Sorry, the statement C is already embedded in this, which is logically related to the remaining things. So just look at here. Some locks are hooks are right or not? Yes, some locks are hooks are correct. Why? Because in order to cover all the keys, the hooks and locks are related to each other. So option C is already perfectly related to these previous two ones. So option D is correct without doing any further clarification. It's easy concept, right? So 
just look at the statement c if you want so c d some locks are hooks some locks are hooks and d is nothing but some hooks are locks see guys these two are statements in a reverse direction right so the same information is given in a two different statements it will be never logically related simply you can eliminate that why because it's a repetition of the statement so this is how you can do these type of problems so remember they need to be logically related and opposite statement get be cancelled and similar logs similar statements also get be eliminated immediately so that you can easily choose the answer this is how you have to do these type of problems yes this is the end of the question and answers and again i am telling you guys please try to comment on this video like any doubts in the comment section you can post or if any suggestions feedback if the compliment also allowed so top not top from now onwards we will choose best three commenters on this video to get the free access to newly launched Prepinsta prime so you know what is our Prepinsta prime i have no need to explain now so try to comment on the section uh, video and try to grab this opportunity and last but not least i'll always suggest the students to follow us on all our social media handles why because a lot of companies are hiring soon you will get all the notification related to hiring process registration process and registration dates and end dates and everything in our social media handles you can able to check you may not available on the youtube every time or youtube sometimes may not provide you the notifications so you may miss the chances so never miss a chance the first step is always to know about the recruitment process or the hiring process so i'll always suggest students to go with social media handles why because you can utilize them in a good and proper manner so i'll always suggest instagram is the first preference and the next discord and based on your requirement in order to reach us and in order to contact us simply and asking for the doubts i'll suggest whatsapp and telegram as well so thank you so much this is the end of the session thank you so much See you soon. Bye-bye.